I've always loved music. I think everyone has. The first album that I ever bought was Keen, Hopes and Fears. And I always just listened to the same song over and over. I didn't really understand the concept of an album. As I got older, I started listening to a lot more music. Slowly, my collection grew. However, as my interest in music grew, I quickly realised that I didn't have enough money to keep growing my collection. Enter Spotify. Spotify is a Swedish commercial music streaming, podcast and video service that provides digital rights management protected content from record labels and media companies. It is available in most of the Americas, Western Europe and Oceania. Spotify gave me the ability to listen to whichever artists I wanted for about £5 a month. And on the surface, Spotify worked. It was giving people an affordable way to listen to their favourite music, whilst also cutting illegal downloads, as there was now a cheap alternative. However, many claim that Spotify weren't paying their artists enough. Enter Taylor Swift. Taylor was quoted saying, I am not willing to contribute my life's work to an experiment that I don't feel fairly compensates the writers, producers, artists and creators of this music. And so Taylor pulled her music from Spotify. Soon after, Tidal was born, in the interest of making things fairer. And now I would like to invite my fellow owners to join me in signing our declaration. Thank you so much for being here today. This is the beginning of a whole new era. Did you hear that? My fellow owners. See, the thing that was different about Tidal was that it wasn't created by corporations, people and big towers. It was created by the artists themselves, right? Well, I find that kind of unconvincing considering that there are literally billions of dollars on this stage signing this right now. I think I would have been more convinced by this if they'd brought up some small talent to show that the people at the bottom aren't getting a fair share of the money. But if I'm totally honest, I struggle to feel sorry for Jay-Z and Beyonce. It's hard to believe that this is anything more than the rich just trying to get richer. Fast forward a year and Kanye West has just released his new album, The Life of Pablo. And the big reveal? It's only available on Tidal. You can't even buy it in a shop. Is this fair? Well, on first thoughts, I kind of want to say no. But I guess it is his music. He can do what he likes with it. But it just seems to me that there's now so much more to this than the music. It's all about economics and politics. So perhaps one of the big questions, am I going to get Tidal? Simple answer, no. You see, I don't really care about Taylor Swift or Kanye West. But equally, I don't care that much if you do. All I can say is that creativity is considerably more important to me than the economic and political debate that Tidal has become. So what I really want to say now is that we should all just be supporting the artists that we love and leave it there. These are my best friends, Jake and Tyler. I wanted this to be a film about my issues with the music industry, but as I wrote it, it evolved into something much, much more. You see, these two, they bleed music. They love it. It's everything that they are. If you listen to the stuff that they create, there's so much passion that goes into it. And at the end of the day, I think that's all that really matters.